Hi class, today we are working on lesson 1.12 in your Go Math book. So if you don't have them already, I need you to go get page 73 and page 76 and tear them out of your math books. Page 73 and 76. Pause the video and come back when you have those pages. Okay, now that you're back, we are learning about problem solving. We're going to model addition and subtraction facts um, to solve word problems. So, essential question. How can you use the strategy draw a diagram to solve one and two step addition and subtraction problems? So, we're going to work through these problems to help show you the steps you can take to solve them, and then we're going to practice some word problems together. Sammy scored 84 points in the first round of a new computer game. He scored 21 more points. We know that more is an addition clue word. In the second round, than in the first round, than is a subtraction clue word. What was Sammy's total score? Okay, total is usually an addition clue word. All right, so now that I have circled my important information and boxed my clue words and underlined my question, I'm ready to go. So we're gonna fill out this chart. You won't really have this chart every time you do word problems, but this chart is to show you how to kind of work through the word problems in your head, all right? So think to yourself, what do I need to find? Well, I need to find Sammy's total score. Okay, what information do I need to use? So this is the information that the word problem gave you. So you can use it because it was already given to you. Sammy scored 84 points in the first round. He scored 21 more points than that in the second round. How will I use this information? I will draw a bar model to show the number of points Sammy scored in each round. Then I will use the bar model to decide which operation to use. So I want to show you the bar model. It's down further on your page. Here's your bar model. I always talk about it like it's a candy bar, if that helps you remember. So we're going to use this bar model to solve. Complete the bar model to show the number of points Sammy scored in the second round. So here's round one, and we know Sammy scored 84 points in round one. Okay. And then here is the amount more that he scored in round two. So round two has a gray square because that's what we don't know. That's the unknown number that we are trying to solve for. What we do know is that he scored 84 points in round one and that in round two he scored 21 more points than round one. So they're down here to show that you're adding them on to this. So that means we're going to add 84 plus the 21 more so that we can find out how many points he scored in the second round. Okay, now we're good mathematicians, so we're not going to sit here and try to do this in our head. Okay, write it out somewhere on the side or in your math journal. Okay. And you should get 105. All right, 105, 105 what points? And that equals our unknown amount. Okay, so it says complete another bar model to show Tim, Sammy's total score. Remember, our question is asking us, what was Sammy's total score? So this first step is not our final answer. This first step is telling us how much he scored in the second round. So I know that in the first round he scored 84 points. And now that I've done this problem, I know that in the second round he scored 105 points. I also know that if I'm wanting to find the total, I'm going to be adding. So if you look here on this line and it shows you that the unknown number is 
this total bar, and this total bar includes, includes these two little bars. So you know you're going to combine these to find the total. So we have 84 plus 105. Again, we are good mathematicians, so we are going to work our problems out either in our math journals or on the side. Pause the video anytime you need extra time. Okay, and you should have gotten 189 points. So we label our answer. So this is our actual answer to the word problem because the word problem wants to know what was his total score. So how many points did Sammy score in the second round? Well, that's what we found out here and we found out it was 105 points. And then it says, what was Sammy's total score? So the total score, which is round one plus round two, we did it right here. The total score is 189 points. Always remember to label. Okay. All right, flip your page over. We're gonna try another problem. Anna scored 265 points in a computer game. Greg scored 142 points. How many more points did Anna score than Greg? How many more? That's a subtraction clue. Than is a subtraction clue. All right, you can use the bar model to solve the problem. So you're gonna have to probably pause here a bunch to write this stuff down. If you wanna wait until I have all three of these boxes filled out and then you can pause the video and write them on your own page, that's fine. So what do I need to find? Well, I need to find how many, notice I'm just repeating the question, more points Anna scored than Greg. When it asks you what do you need to find, you're just restating the question. Okay? Now you can't write huge because these are little boxes. What information do I need to use? Well, we need to use the information they gave us, which is that Anna scored 265 points and Greg scored 142 points. That's the information they have given us, okay? How will I use this information? Okay, well, we're going to use a, the bar model to solve. All right, if you didn't have a chance to write this with me, then go ahead and pause the video and get that filled in on your page. Press play when you're done. Okay, it says record the steps you use to solve the problem. All right, so I need to complete the bar model to show each person's score. So Anna was 265 points and Greg was 142 points. And you can see this space right here has a box, which means it's the unknown number. So this area right here is what we're trying to find. So we can see that it's the difference between this bar and this bar. We're trying to find the difference. And if we're trying to find the difference, what kind of operation are we going to use? Hopefully you said subtraction because we're find, trying to find the difference. And when we find the difference, we are subtracting. And remember, you always write your large number on top. So we are saying 265 minus 142. So we are subtracting Greg's points from Anna's points. 
Okay, and remember the question did say how many more points did Anna score than Greg? Now that our problem is written out, let's solve. 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 4 is 2. Look at that, no regrouping. And 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, 123 points. Okay, so now we can answer our question. How many more points did Anna score than Greg? 123 more points. Okay. All right, I actually want you to skip over to page 76. Okay, find page 76. We have a few word problems here and we are gonna practice solving them together. Tony's tech store had a big sale. The store had 142 computers in stock. Make sure you are circling the important information. During the sale, 91 computers were sold. Now we talked about this before. Sold is a clue word because if you sell something, you're getting rid of it, right? So you're taking it away. So sold is a clue word for subtraction. How many computers were not sold? So it does not ask us how many computers were there in all. It doesn't ask us how many were there together. It wants to know how many were not sold. So we know that they started with 142 computers and they sold 91. And I know the word sold means that something went away. I'm going to take it away. So minus 91. When you write out your problem, make sure you line up your ones together and your tens together and you should have nothing in the hundreds column on the bottom number. Also make sure you reserve this line for your answer. Show your work off to the side. I want you to go ahead and solve that problem on your own. All right. 2 minus 1 is 1. 4 minus 9, I cannot do it, so I'm going to regroup. 14 minus 9 is 5. You're not done yet, okay? Look at the underlined question to figure out what your label is going to be. It says, how many computers? How many computers? So you're talking about computers, which means your label is going to be computers. So your answer is 51 computers. All right, look at number seven. Go deeper. That means it's probably going to be a multi-step problem. So let's read it very carefully. There are 208 people in one movie theater. There are 78 fewer people in the next movie theater. What clue, kind of clue word is fewer? Think about it. If something has fewer, then it has less. And we know less is a clue word for subtraction. How many people are in both movie theaters? Both. If it's both, that means they want us to add it together. So that's a, both is an addition clue word. Now, I'm seeing two steps, and I hope you're seeing two steps, okay? I want you to think about it. We know how many people are in the first movie theater, correct? But we don't know how many people are in the second movie theater. All we know is that there's 78 fewer people in the second movie theater. 78 fewer than the first one. So 
first we have to find out how many people are there in the second theater. So the first theater has 208 people, right? And we know that the second theater has 78 fewer or less. So we need to subtract so we can find out the total number of people in the second theater. 8 minus 8 is 0. 0 minus 7 can't do it. So 1, 10, 3, 1. Okay, so 130 people are in the second theater. Now, is that done? Are we done? Did we answer the problem? Go back and read the question to see. How many people are in both movie theaters? We have not solved the problem. We know there's 208 people in the first movie theater. And because of this problem, we now know there's 130 people in the second theater. If it wants me to find out how many are in both, and that means I need to add them together. Okay, so 8 plus 0 is 8, 0 plus 3 is 3, and 2 plus 1 is 3. Here is our answer. So again, go back to your question to find your label. Our question is asking us how many people? Our answer is 338 people. Okay, your question will always let you know what your um, label should be. All right, look at number eight. Oh, another go deeper. That means multi-step. In one week, 128 cell phones were sold. Remember, we've talked about this before. If something is sold, it's taken away. The following week, 37 more cell phones were sold than the week before. Oh, so 37 more. More means plus. How many cell phones were sold in those two weeks? All right, so they're wanting to know how many were sold altogether in the two weeks. But just like before, we have the information for week one, 128 cell phones, but we do not have the information for week two. So think about it. How are we going to find the information for week two? Hopefully you noticed that week two is 100 or week one is 128 cell phones and week two is 37 more. So I need to take week one, which is 128, and add on 37 because in week two, they sold 37 more than they did in week one. So that means I'm gonna add it on because more tells me to add, okay? So eight plus seven is 15, three, three, six, one. Okay, I'm not done though. So now I know this is week one, 128. And I know this is week two, 165. How many cell phones were sold in those two weeks? So we need to add those two weeks together. So I have 128 plus 165. Eight plus five is 13, good. One plus two is three, plus six is nine and two. So let's go back to our question, make sure we answered, answered it. How many cell phones were sold in those two weeks? Well, we added up week one and week two and got a total. So that's the correct answer. And we need to find our label. How many, what comes after how many? Cell phones. So our label is 293 cell phones. Okay. All right, let's move to the bottom and do number 10. This will be our last problem. There are 306 people at the fair on Saturday. There are 124. Fewer, remember I told you fewer is like saying less. So if it's fewer, then that's a clue word for subtraction. 
people on Sunday. How many people are at the fair during the two days? Again, they're wanting us to find the total amount, but we can't because we need to add up Saturday and Sunday, right? But we don't know the exact number of people that were there on Sunday. We know there were 124 fewer people on Sunday than there were on Saturday, and fewer tells me I need to subtract. So the first thing you need to do is take Saturday's amount, 306, and subtract 124 so we can find out how many people were there on Sunday. So 6 minus 4 is 2. I got to regroup. 8 and 1. All right, so 182. So that means, let's see, Saturday there was 306 people and Sunday there was 182 people. Are you following me? Saturday and Sunday. Our question says how many people are at the fair during the two days. So it wants us to add these two days together. 6 plus 2 is 8, 8, and 4. Okay, so we know our answer is 488. Go back to your question, how many people? So 488 people were at the fair during the two days. And these are the two days and we added them up. Okay? All right, see you tomorrow.